Hey, what's up, my Libra friends? This is Indigo here, doing your weekly love reading from August 28th through September 3rd. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. So I will tip you on down here so you can watch me shuffle. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Libra this week in love? The Sun, Moon, Rising. Whoa, that's half the deck. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they? What can they expect in love? Okay. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. So, um, being able to run, the, run the roost, you can take care of the house, the kids, the laundry, the bills, the, the kingdom, whatever is thrown at you, you are very organized. You can take care of it all. You are, you know, you have a lot of things that are your responsibility at the moment. Um, but you are doing it with grace. Um, you're very loving and nurturing and by nature and people are just drawn to you. Uh, and you have a lot to show for the fruits of your labor, for all the hard work that you've done. You also have the nine of wands here. So you've, you've come from a rough relationship. You, um, you have learned a lot of lessons. You are very wise. Um, you kind of come from, I've been there, done that, learned my lesson. Um, you have a lot of battle wounds, a lot of scars, but you don't have baggage. That's the beautiful part of this Libra. Um, you have fought through thick and thin and have made it out. You made it out alive, but not unscathed. So um, you're kind of looking back at your um, past this week um, and looking at how far you've come. Three of Pentacles. Um, you could be getting recognized at work this week. Um, and also somebody in the workplace is sparking your interest. Um, yeah. Two of Cups in reverse. Like I said, you are coming out of a very um, emotionally draining relationship. Your scars from the past. You, you're you sitting here very well grounded, very well put together. But you don't forget the hurt that you have been through. Um, somebody is going to come towards you. Um, offering you um, offering you love. Or offering you an opportunity at love. This is somebody new. You've never met this person before. You've never been with this person. Um, and you are very hesitant on their offer. Um, you are going to warm up to the idea of this person though. Uh, at first you may be kind of cold towards them. Not very warm to the idea of a relationship. But, but you are going to come out of that. Um, they're just going to have to be patient with you. Oh, and there's the seven of pentacles. Um, they're, like I said, they're going to have to be patient. Um, you are taking your time and you are doing it right this time is what you're telling yourself. Um, no longer are you jumping into anything quick. You're going to make sure it's what you want and it's going to make you happy. And, um, you're kind of weeding out the garden right now, getting rid of all the weeds you're purging because you want to make sure you are the best you for that next love. Because, you know, you just want that 10 of cups love. You just want that. You don't want the heartache. You don't want to have to be at battle all the time. Oh, and here's the 10 of cups love. Um, you're putting in the hard work so you can have this. And this is what's coming to you. Um, somebody that is going to make, make your dreams come true. They are going to... Give you everything in life that you have hoped for and you to them. Yeah. After you complete this cycle, um, you are in a transformation period. You are completing things. You are closing doors to what no longer serves you. You're purging. You're weeding out the garden. And when you complete that, you're going to be in a very good place, Libra, a very beautiful place. And those doors are going to shut to the past. You're going to take your lessons with you. You're going to wear those scars because we all do. But it's going. you're going to be beautifully healed. And in turn, you are 
welcoming in this person that's going to emotionally um, satisfy you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, you're you're going through a transformation. You're having a spiritual rebirth right now. You are no longer going to be cold to the world, and you're no longer going to allow yourself to be out in the cold. You are going to do it, and you're doing it for you, which is all the right reasons. Um, you are going to find a big spiritual transformation in this week. Um, yeah, and here's the hermit. So you're looking within, you're looking for that light. You're going to find it. You're going to retreat. Um, you're going to find the light within you. That's going to drive you to a whole new beginning. Um, you are spiritually ascending. Yeah, the person coming in, you fear them um, coming in and out. You fear them leaving like the last person. You fear them um, just using you for sex. That is not the case in this um, with this person. This person wants to give you the world, um, and they're not going anywhere. So it's safe for you to trust them. It's safe for you to let them in um, because you don't want to put that wall up too high. Princess of Swords in reverse. So um, you are finding um, some strength in, uh, you're finding strength yeah, yeah, yeah. You're finding strength in a new beginning. Um, you're, you're figuring out new things. You're thinking of new ideas. You are experiencing new things um, in life. And that's going to open an, a door in a spiritual way that is going to allow you to um, to have a beautiful life, to have an amazing uh, partner, to have kids if that's what you want, to have, you know, to create a business if that's what you want. You're creating, you're sparking new ideas within your within yourself that's spiritually going to ascend you. That's going to in turn bring in the perfect one for you. It's just like, it's like dominoes almost. And why not? Let's throw the 10 of pentacles out there. Like I said, this person comes from a very big family, a very wealthy family. Um, you're going to meet them through work or somehow um, like a friend at work is going to introduce you. There's something with, within the work sector that this is going to come about. Um, you Maybe you go visit them at work. Um, there's so many different options that that can be, but, uh, but yeah, this person's going to bring that wall down. They're going to, they're going to, uh, make you feel in a way that you're not scared to let them in your heart. You're not scared to give out your love. You're not no longer stingy with your feelings, your time, your investment in a person. Um, they're going to knock that wall down and you are going to, um, you are just going to ascend in a beautiful beautiful direction. The wheel is here also for you. Um, this week push the universe is pushing you. They are pushing you in the direction that you need to be. And you this week are finding your path with it being right under the hermit. You are, you're getting it. You are going to just, yeah, the, the universe is moving you. Um, and the six of swords is your last card out. Um, they are moving you in a direction to where you're meant to be, who you're meant to be with. This is kind of a week of transition. Um, I don't see, you know, you meeting the love of your life this week and getting married and da, da, da. No, this is the prep phase. You are, um, you are going within, you are coming out of the cold. You are realizing your worth. You are realizing what you deserve. And you will be meeting somebody by the end of the week. I'm, I'm um, seeing for the majority of you uh, that is going to bring your wall down so very fast. Um, and it's going to send you in the right direction. For some of you, this is actually a physical move. Um, but for the majority of you, this is just moving on from the past. Um, accept what has happened and Take those lessons with you and move forward. And, and you're going to, with the wheel here in the upright, amazing. I'll get a romance angel card here. Whoa. Okay. Sorry. That one, I hadn't even asked for it yet, so I'm putting it back. Spirit and angels, what? 
Okay, I guess they want this one out. Oh my god, that was just the one that fell out. So this is the one that's meant to be. Apparently, I didn't get it out either time. But um, to have the same card flip out of the deck like that. Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others. When you flirt, when you're happy, when you're lighthearted, when you're just having fun, people are automatically drawn to you. That energy, that vibration, um, you are just going to be drawing people in. So um, leave the hurt in the past. Leave the heaviness behind. And go out and have a good time. Be flirty. Be fun. And um, allow the universe to bless you with the many gifts you guys have come toward, coming towards you. I want to thank you all for joining me on my channel. Be watching for your channeled messages for September. That will be coming out in the next couple days. Big things for Libras. Um, I said that about Scorpios too. You guys are two and Leos. Three of my biggest um, changes uh, with the Virgo moon. So um, be watching for that. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you for continuously supporting me. For those of you new, make sure you hit subscribe um, so you can catch my next video. I send you love, light, and God bless.